but the lord is asking us today when he calls us to become missionaries for him is that be aware of the wants that you need to limit satisfaction cannot be bought at the market places this is a spring that has to emerge in the heart from long wandering and searching mulam samiksha yatra gamyata sarvesha marga tadhaiva pravrti mulam samiksha yatra gamyata sarvesha marga tadhaiva pravrti my brothers and sisters and my beloved confreres a very hearty welcome to each one of you to the 15th sunday of the liturgical year this is a story as old as francis of assisi leonardo boff in his famous book francis of assisi reiterates the same pope innocent the great died he was given this title the great because of his spiritual and political influence people from all over the world especially the prominent people came to pay homage to the pope in the evening they all returned to their respective places as the funeral was on the following day the dead body of the great pope was kept in the church in the middle of the night a group of dacoits entered the church they removed all the ornaments and the costly clothes the pope was wearing and they went away after a while there arose a rustle from the corner of the church a poor man came forward and as he saw the naked body of the pope he took away his smelling old garments and put it on the dead body of the pope yes there is a message for each one of us when the church goes away from the earth and the human nearness what happens with each one of us is that we would be covered up with the dirty cloth of the poor where are we standing today yes my brothers and sisters this is specifically the message of the gospel of the day we encounter jesus today sending his disciples for a missionary journey and this passage from the gospel of mark is very touching each word spoken there has a specific meaning it is said jesus called his disciples to himself and sent them two by two to preach the gospel at the very beginning we notice in the gospel of mark chapter 3 Jesus went up to the mountains and he called to himself those whom he wanted what for to be with him and to be sent out the very basic aspect of a missionary's life is to be called or invited by the lord that is the sign of your discipleship you will be sent as an apostle only after you have become a disciple the discipleship is the foundation of your apostleship once you become a disciple hearing the word of god being near the master and receiving the message of the master in your heart you will be sent out as apostles the ones who are called to preach the gospel and who are these people who are made the disciples and sent out as apostles they are the simple folk the first reading today from the book of amos brings home to us that great message amos says i am merely a herdsman a dresser of the sycamore tree but the lord called me from the work that i was doing in order to go to the people of israel to preach the word of god from a simple folk a prophet is a reason Yes my brothers and sisters simplicity is the way of life of a disciple who becomes an apostle and what is the basic qualification needed for such a disciple as the letter to the Ephesians says today they should be holy 
and blameless before the Lord. Now they are sent two by two. Why are they sent two by two? We have a clear clarity about it in the book of Ecclesiastes chapter 4 verses 9 to 12. It says to be sent in two is better than to be sent alone. When one falls down, the other one can raise him up. When they are in two, they have the warmth and the nearness of the other. When an enemy comes against them, it would be better to stop him by being in two than one alone. But above all, as per the Jewish culture, when two people go together, it is a witness. One speaks and the other authenticates. Yes, my brothers and sisters, see here the wisdom of the Lord. And that is precisely the reason we live in communities. We live in families together with the other. We live even as diocesan priests in collegiality with the bishop. Union and being together is the necessary aspect of preaching the gospel. It authenticates your communication. Now, how are they to go about to preach the gospel? First of all, they shall have a staff in their hand. A staff is the symbol of authority. Even in the Old Testament, we would see that a shepherd has always a staff with him. He is to go longer ways in order to tread the path to lead the sheep. Therefore, a staff is the symbol of the authority of one who is leading. Secondly, the Lord says, you shall not take bread with you. You shall not take a bag with you. You shall not have money with you. What are these things? The Lord says, trust in the providential care of the Lord. You will be taken care. Bread is for today. You shall not be worried about your today. The bag is something that is to be collected for tomorrow. The money is for day after tomorrow. You shall not think about your future. And that is where the Lord challenges the disciples to be totally relying on the power of God. But he permits them, you can wear sandals because you would be traveling through the stones and thistles on the way. But at the same time, you shall not have two tunics. That means you shall not take even an extra cautious act about what you shall be covered with. The Lord's covering over you will suffice for you. And thereafter, the Lord says, stay in that house where you enter first. But at the same time, you shall not stay there long. Do not be possessive of anyone. Do not be worried about what is provided for you in that house. Do not think about another opportunity that you may have otherwise. You should be personally committed to that mission that the Lord is entrusting you with. Yes, my brothers and sisters, what the Lord is asking us today, when He calls us to become missionaries for Him, is that be aware of the wants that you need to limit. Satisfaction cannot be bought at the marketplaces. This is a spring that has to emerge in the heart from long wandering and searching. That's why once a traveler came to a wise man. As the traveler came into his room, the wise man told him, sit down. But there was no chair for him to sit down. The traveler was feeling so uncomfortable and he told, you should provide me with a chair. And the wise man asked him, where is your chair? My chair? Asked the traveler. I'm a traveler. And the wise man told, I too. All of us are travelers on the way. Let's go in two, authenticating the gospel that we are preaching. Let's have that trust in the providential care of God without collecting too many things along with us. Let's look at the warmth that the other one can give. It could be my husband. It could be my wife. It could be my children. 
It could be my community. It could be my authority. At the same time, let's never be possessive. The only focus that we should have is to preach Jesus Christ to the whole world. Are you a true missionary? Amen. Moolam samiksha yatra gamyata Sarvesha maga tadhaiva pravarthi